Today we'll be going over popular, most requested, and my personal favorite effects. Don't mind the Roblox edit, this was a collab part. Anyways, the first effect we're gonna go over is like a character slide. I already have this roto brushed, but I'm gonna teach you how to roto brush real quick. Go into the clip that you use. You're gonna go in this area right here, roto brush, select your character. You may need to double click it, and then all you have to do is just drag over it, and then boom. When you wanna like, oh, my mic fell. If you need to fix it, oh my gosh, my mic. If you need to fix something, just hold Alt and go to your roto brush part. Now what we're gonna do is duplicate it, add motion tile to it. And now we're here are the edges, and then we're gonna press P on our keyboard, make a keyframe, and then we're gonna go forward like a few frames. And now what we're gonna do is just move the position up some until it kind of like goes back in its original spot, I guess, like that. Go forward a few frames again, and go back to the left, or whichever direction you went. If we play this back, obviously it's kind of like, once we turn on motion blur, the faster it is, the better effect you get. I'm just going to move these closer together, copy these keyframes, paste them. Anyways, effect number two is the glowing liquify effect. What we're going to do, go back to your roto brushed, search for turbulent displays. Add it to our bottom clip, change the amount, whatever you like. So about here is fine. And then we're going to change the size to 34. There aren't many effects that I have at the top of my head, but one of them is time warp RGB. Another effect you can add is deep glow. One of my favorites, low effects. So number three is CC wide time. Um, we're gonna go over that later. Number four is CC ball action. I don't use this a lot, but it's very cool. Search for CC ball action. Control D. Add CC ball action on the duplicated version of the mask or roto brush. And my After Effects crashed, guys. What the? F <laughs> Anyways, after you made a keyframe like I was saying. You're gonna go forward a few frames and then you're gonna change the scatter amount to a higher amount. And then as you can see, it gives us like particles of the character. I'm gonna add Deep Glow to this because Deep Glow is one of the best plugins out there. And yeah, as you can see, it already looks better. So number five or four, whatever effect we're on. Number five, I'm gonna say number five is CC Light Race. Add it to this. And then as you can see, it's like a ray. So if we place this behind our character and move this around, you can see it gives us light rays. I think the bright points are what gives us that like nice glow effect. When it moves around, you can see like the little glow in the back. Effect number six is like a clone effect. Basically, all you need to do is duplicate this twice. The roto brush layer, control D, press P on your keyboard and move this one. And then you're going to go on the second duplicated one, move it to the right. And then, of course, if you want it to, like, pop out, I guess, put it back in the center, move forward a few frames, move outwards, and then if we add a graph, you can change it to speed graph and do something like this. Boom. And then do the same thing for the other side. Next effect is CC draws. Add a new solid layer, add it on the solid, change the completion. Boom, 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 boom. Change the height to zero. If we make a keyframe after putting the completion to 100, boop, we're gonna go forward a few frames, change the completion, and then if we play this back, it gives us the cinematic little lines. You can also add a graph to this. Another effect that is kind of similar to this one is CC light white. Um, you can also change it to square doors. That's what's gonna give us that like little thingy bob. You reverse it, it gives us this border with light so yeah and then make a keyframe you know the deal next effect is a glowing border so what you're gonna do is duplicate this layer right here and then you're gonna make a mask so something like this click the eyeball tool right here to hide the bottom layer and they're gonna invert it as the little border pre-compose it and then i'm gonna scale this down some um now you're gonna add deep glow required for the text turn on this bottom layer again we have our little glowing border next effect is s underscore motion detect it's cool but it's kind of mid but when we add deep glow boom you can also add find edges so if you invert it it's it's okay guys last effect is cc wide time this is one of my favorite effects i'm just going to scale this down rotate it i'm just trying to show you the effect 
it's very simple like there should be something in the background like it's just rotating if we pre-compose this and then we duplicate this and then we add cc wide time boom point step zero backward step eight motion blur on we get this very cool trail effect <laughs> That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Part two coming soon. I'll see you in the next video. Love you and bye.